County Dispatch, may I help you? Yeah, did you get any reports or any object in the air about 15 minutes ago? Mm, you know, somebody called in, but I'm not, in, I really don't know what that would be. It is, I mean, it was very strange. Okay. It looks like a back end of a, like one of them fighter planes, you know, like the plane coming out the back. Okay, was it just like moving at a slow rate of speed? It wasn't a slow rate, it was a fast rate, but it was coming down. It was coming down? Yeah. Like straight down or at an angle? Like an angle. At an angle? Yep. Okay. I mean, it was a real big and, you know, in the back. Okay. Please. All right. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll check with the air base in Vienna and see if they have any report of anything in the area. Yeah, okay, thank you. Okay. Right. Bye bye. 996. Uh, 996. We have a report by a CC. Actually, two calls in of a vehicle in the sky, unknown object above Samson Drive. Have you noticed anything? That's affirmative, sir. What's the location? Theory of Samson Drive. Also saw. Sir, he just advised in the air, in the sky. He didn't advise direction. 998. 998, Did he give you a description on the object? Public service, sir. I'll give you further. Okay. County dispatch. Okay. Bob, I swear to God, four calls in on an unidentified object over Liberty. Four calls. Four calls on an unidentified flying object. Come on down, take a look. All right, we'll check it out. You want me to call the air base and see if there's anything in the area? I'll take a look. <laughs>
like Samson Drive. There's a vacant field midway through the block. They're telling me this too, but I mean, it's I mean, it's probably some weather balloon or something. You know what I mean? They're checking the area, but I really these UFO calls are getting out of hand. I don't know what it is. If it was, what the hell did they come to Liberty for? There's no intelligent life in Liberty. Come on. <laughs> We're telling everybody they're, they're, for, they're doing the sequel to the, the, what's that new Star Trek movie, Generation. So. <laughs> Louis Green, no noise. No noise. I mean, it was low flying and took off. So. Oh, come on. Fifth Avenue. Are you serious? It's driving up Fifth Avenue Extension. Now, no, but, oh, oh, Christ. Not driving. Are you flying? It came down and just zooped over. It was a big, glowing object. Wow, we got four calls on it. The last guy said it was a fighter plane. <laughs> so you tell me that I would do a, like a big, big news story on the water and liberty and the effects on the people because these people are clearly afflicted. <laughs> But I appreciate the tip. I'll let them know some more on it. I just, I dispatched it because God only knows my luck. It would land here, abduct some people, and I would be in trouble for not dispatching. I was impressed because I heard the way you dispatched it, and I said she's trying real hard not to break. <laughs> but I'm working with the biggest jokers on the on the force tonight, so it's real hard not to. Lucky. <laughs> well, if we do run into a UFO, I swear I will call you personally. Okay. okay? Right. We'll give you an exclusive. <laughs> okay. Bye-bye. Right. Bye-bye. County dispatch. Uh, okay. Liberty Police. Am I calling the Liberty Police? What you need, ma'am? Uh, I wonder, did you have any, um, anyone call you about a, a strange plane or airplane or something in the air? Yeah, they're checking it out. Yeah, I just saw it on Samson Road. Where? On Samson Drive. It was coming down Samson Drive. It was almost, it looked like it was, I don't know what it was, if it was a flying saucer or what it was. It wasn't an airplane. Mm -hmm. It was not an airplane. It was down awfully low. Are you the same lady that called Channel 33? No. Okay. All right. You, you must have had calls, other calls in order to. Yeah, not many, a couple. Yeah. All right, thank you. So what does it look like, ma'am? It was like a, uh, almost like an iridescent color. It was like a bluish, bluish purple, you know, it was like a long streak. You know, like it had, it almost was like a, it had fire coming out of the back of it. Okay. You know, maybe it was, I don't know what it could have been if it was, if it was an, I know it wasn't an airplane. Okay, ma'am, I'll let them know. All right. All right, ma'am. Ohio. Yeah. We have a report of some flying object. 
project in our jurisdiction, in our area, uh, above the Samson Drive Fifth Avenue extension area, I could not give you any kind of uh, traffic, you know, direction that would help you know that area. Do you know of anything that should be in our airspace this time, close to the ground? Uh, right this now, is not a prank phone call. I swear, you need to call me back uh, and verify. Look at the uh, radar scope and uh, I go 60 mile diameter of Youngstown, and there is nothing out there. Oh shit! Not even anything up high. We've got no five. Airplane. Five accounts, five calls in on this. Yeah. Something's flying in our area and it's low to the ground. Would you be able to monitor like a Cessna or something with a light on it? Well, you know, if it was, do you mean visibly? No, uh, the with, with the radar. Oh, uh, with the radar, uh, it depends on how high it is and where they are. You know, if it's uh, low, radar coverage so is Okay, to now I get a text to go over the air and tell them something and I don't want to say you couldn't find anything. <laughs> Is there any, like, uh, clause I might use that it might be, like, a personal aircraft or something that might be used at night or something? Could be. Could be, uh, you know, it is, could be anything. Um, uh, as far as, uh, you know, any kind of helicopter traffic or anything down low, they don't have any kind of requirements to... Uh, it made no noise. they coming into the airport here. Okay, so you have no communications with helicopters. It could be something like that? Yeah, it could be a helicopter. Okay. Could be, uh, helicopters particularly flying okay. low. Well. All right, I'm, I'm buying this 100%. But Are you, uh, you know, there's... That location anywhere near a hospital? We are close to a hospital, but the location is away from, it's as low as they said it was to the ground, it would be approximately five miles away from the hospital. Yeah. Um, we're closer to, that end of town is closer, like, out towards the Vienna line, uh -huh. Vienna Air Base area, and that's what I thought maybe it was related to. Yeah, we haven't had, uh, we haven't had anything uh, going on, uh, you know, nothing come from that direction. Uh, okay. Uh, and I'm going to repeat, like, okay. Yeah, you just go out here northbound, climbed up high, and uh, nothing's going on around here. Okay, I am going to advise you of this. You could take it and file it in your G and in your garbage can if you want to. Uh, we've got accounts of this. Hold on one second for me. Okay, I've got four to six calls. Hold on one second. Smart ass. Okay, um, at this time, I've had four to six calls come in about a lit object, well, lit object, blue-green lights hovering above uh, the area of Samson Drive and Fifth Avenue. The object was low to the ground, did not make any noise, uh, hovered there for some time, and then continued moving down the Fifth Avenue extension road. Uh, my unit was out. He caught something he thought was red. Somebody described it as the end of a fighter pilot plane. I don't know what the hell kind of lines of continuum they're drawing here. I don't see any. But this is what I was advised of, so I wanted to call. Okay, well, you know, we don't, uh, we, I have a, uh, when I was downstairs in the radar room, I would have a finder with some phone numbers. We have uh, some 800 numbers as far as, uh, you know, identified flying object reports and things like that. If you wish, you can call, uh, you know, during uh, business hours tomorrow. I, like I said, I don't know. Uh, you know. I don't see anything out there, uh, nothing on the radar scope, I haven't seen anything, and, uh, you know, we don't really do anything with the information. Okay, I just, I thought I'd pass along in case somebody was maybe flying without permission and, you know, night flying or something like that. I didn't know what was going on, but uh, as long as I've done my job passing it along, and I don't want to sound like a crackpot, but that's what we've got in so far. Bye-bye. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. 998 radio. 998, good. I'm going to quit. I don't see anything. Right now, what I saw, I have no idea what I saw. It just might have been just a light up in the sky. I don't know. Be in service. Copy. 925. 925, guys. Uh, you may want to advise the surrounding jurisdiction to stop and interrogate if they come across us. Copy. County dispatch. Hi. It's not a much in this road and Samson uh, drive out in Liberty. Yes, ma'am. I wonder if they, I heard on the scanner where they were looking for that big blue. Right, ma'am. Yeah, did they find anything yet? Uh, not yet. Uh, the dispatcher from Liberty Township is right now, she's uh, speaking with the air base to see if they have possibly something in the area at this time. Oh, I see. Yeah, I heard on scanner. I thought it was one of the flying saucers since it wasn't very far from the ground. Well, that's why she contacted them in case it was a little bit in on that. that. Pardon? Did they call the news on that? Uh, I have no idea. Yeah, I thought I heard in the sky that they did. 
But they think it might be from the air base. Right. As I said, the Liberty Dispatch is on the uh, phone right now speaking with the air base. And they think that's where it's from. Yes. All right. Well, thank you. Okay, Bye -bye. ma'am. Bye-bye. We've contacted the FAA administration, and uh, one, they've advised nothing on the radar scope within a 60-mile radius of Youngstown. They did advise they have no communication with any helicopters or any private-owned vehicles, air vehicles. 98, uh, they're not aware of anything then, right? Negative. He checked the radar and advised negative nothing on radar within 60-mile radius of the Youngstown area. Again, he did, he did verify they have no contact with any helicopter or private-owned vehicles that might be in the area. We are continually getting calls on this, so. What's the area? Still Samson Fifth Avenue. Uh, we're, um, we're right there. Uh, I don't see anything up in the air now. How long do these calls come in? This just in within two. Good And I said, well, I said, could it be like a weather 
marvel is, he goes, no, he goes, these lights are incredibly bright. And he goes, and this thing's just, he goes, and this thing's just hovering, it's not moving. And I said, well, maybe it's a private plane or something. Now this thing, whatever it was, lit up, I mean, literally, lit up, you could stand, uh, if you were underneath it, you could see it would be like daylight, but red light. Well, I logged it, I know this is coming back up. I know everybody and their brother's going to be calling tomorrow.
Lynch at the air base? Okay, uh, it should be south of you, right? Yeah, Kyle. Looks like it's going circle. Looks like it's doing circles? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so what area is it in? Huh? What area? Uh, hang on one sec. Dave, Davies, what area do you think it's in now? Hang on, Dave. Okay, uh, hey, where you're at and where I'm at, I'm about a half a mile south of King's Grave on Hen Heights. Hen Heights, half a mile south. south of King's Grave. It's still a little bit south of me, so no, where are south. you at as far as on Ridge Road? Yeah, I'm I'm you guys have to take P tests and all that, Helen? Because we went outside, we didn't see anything. But I don't know where I got the down. under construction, and we're watching it right through the empty field. You're seeing it through the field? Yeah, we're seeing well, it. How big is it? Of, what color is it? Because I got it, it kind of from like a whitish, whitish red to pulsating uh, greenish lavender. Do you see any red? It was a whole red light. He said it looked like... Well, from the distance, I mean, I can't tell. My, my binoculars are a cheap set of binoculars. I thought I saw some red. Let me check with Dave from his angle. Do you see red and green on it? Hey, Dave, from your angle, I'll call the you see pulsating red and green? I'm telling you, we went outside, we didn't see anything. Yeah, what? I'm calling the air base again. Okay. Uh, hold on, just stand the line. Oh, I'd gladly come down and pick you up in the car and bring you I want to see it. Come get me. All right. Come get me. All right. I'll be outside. All right. Okay. All right. I need a break. He's going to take me to see it. I don't believe this. Where's the number I had before? Here it is. Yeah, seriously, we, we got like eight calls on it earlier. You gotta be shit. No, I have to, 
Hey, Leslie, what, would you believe Leslie if she said yes? No. Is, is, isn't that a UFO that we got like eight calls on earlier today and they're looking at again? Leslie said yes. It is. Shit, yeah, we got we got calls earlier tonight on it, and um, a couple of different people, the officers said they saw it, and uh, one of the Howland officers just said he saw it at King's Graves and Hen Hyde, hovering there for like 10 minutes. So who knows? It's pretty messed up. We got reports on some last night. We got them reports on them tonight. So, oopie doopie. <laughs> All quiet over there tonight? Yeah. See, you need to be over here where the air rescue things happen. Yeah, I'm going to go outside and take a look around. Yeah, we, well, we went out from here and couldn't see, but it's hard because there's a lot of lights, you know. What, what, I guess they, uh, one of the Howland officers said it was like in an area of Henhide and King's Graves, though, hovering there for like 10 minutes. A big blue. What was it supposed to be, Rick? Blue and green? Let me see what color it was. Hold on. Rick, what was it supposed to be, blue and green? It's supposed to be blue and green, I guess. Yeah, UFO number out of the road there. What's he doing? So, airport? We, we called out to the air base earlier, and uh, they said that they hadn't had anything on their uh, on their their radar. But if it's a, if it's a, it's an area of Henhide and, and King's Graves, it would have to be showing up on their radar. You know, if there was something there. Don't they have any fighter jets out there? Jerry, could you tell what they just said? Somebody just said something. I don't know what they said. So. All right, I'll let you go. All righty. If I find out anything else, I'll call and let you know. All right. Bye. <laughs> Chase 
back north. I want to see this thing. I think uh, from here, it's going and how far it's visible, you should be able to see it. I'm going to head out to 305 and I'll see if I can get a glimpse of it from there. Okay. 22-23 to control. 22-23, good. Okay, I got a visual on both of them. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. 10-4, we have multiple departments right now that have sightings on it. Okay, I got them both. Uh, I'm in the area of the county home. I got Howland, looks like it's in the area of Warner Road. And I got Liberties, it looks like it's down near Hubbard. 10-4, if you see it any close and can identify it, let us know. A affirmative. Go ahead.
up there now. There's four planes. Oh, okay. So what the? F no, I mean the other things are still there. Uh -huh. But these are like, eh, yeah, you fuckers. Yeah, oh, what do you, you don't see them. All right, what are we doing with this now, Pete? Well, I have no idea. Well, you know what? I can tell it's not in our airspace, so they are call. Okay. Uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye. Well, 
it was pretty far away from all of us. You know, we really can't make a good determination, but there's that chance, you know. And well, for about the last 35 minutes, we've been tracking this with a telescope, and it's moving in a set arc, you know, which would be with the rotation. Okay. It's a planet. Which one? God only knows. But it's a planet. It's not a star. Well, we were all okay. excited. Oh, I know I was, too. I we think God something. But uh, definitely something else is, you know, whatever, you know, I don't dispute what the lady's saying, but uh, just thought it was funny that somebody came all the way down into Niles, either on her way to work or whatever. Yeah, that's uh, what the hell he's looking at now. That's yeah. not what I saw. Yeah. No, Toby said he said, you know, it was, there's no way that, uh, he said that did not look what he, you know, look like what he saw. Okay. So I do not know, you know, if it was the distance or what the situation was. Hmm. But if that's a planet, that's a planet. It's pretty damn low, but... Oh, yeah. Well, like I said, it was lower when we first saw it. And like I said, we've been sitting down here on the strip. Just, you know, everybody's sitting still, not moving. Uh -huh. And we every so often we had to adjust the telescope. So it's it's moving, but it's arcing in a set pattern. Uh -huh. So it looks like it's stationary. Other than it's a little higher. And, you know, like where I'm at right now, I can see it where before I know I wouldn't have been able to see because I'm down here at the corners. You know, and that's even lower than the center. And uh, I can see it now. So, oh well. Okay. All righty. Thanks for calling. Very many more calls on it. No, nothing uh, else. Uh, we'll probably all have a lot of answers today. I'll tell you what. 